back. So I'm just gonna cut straight to the video. This is gonna be a video answering all the questions that I've recently been getting about my fitness life and what do I do on a daily basis? What do I eat? What do I do in the gym? Uh, all that, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer it all in one video so that it'll make it easier on me and it's easier on the people who are curious and are always asking me the same questions. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about my daily routine. Uh, what do I do when I wake up to what do I do all the way until I go to bed? First of all, I'm on a calorie deficit. So this meal routine is for anybody that's interested in doing a calorie deficit. So I made a little like scramble. It was cabbage, zucchini, cauliflower, carrots, and egg whites. All of it into a skillet, cooked it with some olive oil. The reason I eat that is because it's low calorie, but it's high dense. Even though it's low calorie, it leaves you full for a long period of time. So it minimizes the snacking you do in between meals, which is something I barely ever really do. And when I do, I eat things like trail mix. But one thing about trail mix I'll warn about is that they are healthy and they are a good source of healthy fats, but they are also high in calories. So just watch your portion because if you eat too many of them, you will start to see the effects of it. But I work out like seven days a week, rarely ever take an off day. So it doesn't really affect me. But I love me some trail mix. I'll eat like a whole bag by sitting and watching a video or something. Then moving on to lunch, I have just a regular old salad with some chicken breast. What I put in my salad, carrots, avocado for sure. I don't really jazz, like I don't really jazz up my salad that much. I don't really care about dressing. A lot of people have mixed emotions on dressing, saying they're high in calories, but for me, for what I eat in the day, the dressing doesn't really affect my calorie intake count. So I just I just use whatever dressing I want, but I really use um, Caesar dressing. It's like 150 calories per serving. I will say just don't overdo the dressing. If you're not gonna overdo the dressing, it really doesn't matter. So don't have to go buy that low fat dressing and stuff like that. Have regular dressing, just don't overdo it. And moving on to dinner, just do the same thing. Literally just a salad. And the reason I do that, it's it's because it's simple. That's, and that's the thing with following a meal plan. You don't want to have something so complicated to where when you wake up in the morning or you're going throughout your day, you don't feel like doing it because it's too much work. Find something that you have fun making and it isn't too difficult, if you know what I mean. Because if you have a routine that you're not in, like you can't stand, you're gonna, you're just not gonna fall, you're not gonna fall through with it. It's just, you're gonna, you're gonna get bored of it and it's just gonna, you're gonna start eating junk food again. So find something that you love to eat. There's plenty of options out there that are healthy that I that you will like. I I, I promise you. Just because it has the word healthy attached to it, does not always mean it's gonna not be good. So find you something that you love that's healthy and eat it. Casually in the morning, I will have an oatmeal here and there and a yogurt. It's rarely ever though because right now I'm on a low carb, so I'm trying to cut off some fat. Like that right there is like a once in a blue moon thing. But if you do make oatmeal, I suggest you could put. Uh, some peanut butter in there, honey. Don't add regular sugar, add honey instead. It's a way better option. Some some uh, fruit if you have to, and that'll get you through in the morning. It's also a good source of energy. The only time I would suggest you take carbs is when you are getting ready to go work out because having natural energy every once in a while is better than having pre-workout. Now, I wanna say protein shakes and stuff. For me, I don't take protein shakes because I don't like to uh, drink my calories. And that's part of the reason why I don't, I only drink water because I like to consume my calories through hard food. I don't like to drink my calories because when you drink your calories, it doesn't leave you full for a long time. So you again, you'll start snacking and then that's how you start gaining weight. And that's the problem with sodas. And actually I had a question. Somebody asked me, do I drink soda? No, I never drink soda. I stopped drinking soda like a couple of years ago. I didn't stop drinking soda recently. I, I've always stopped drinking soda because it's just, it's never been me. It, it's just, uh, nah. Sodas out the out the book. I don't I don't ever touch soda ever. High in calories, no benefits, and it's just not good. So stop drinking soda, please stop drinking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the questions now. I've already answered one of them. Somebody asked, "Do I drink soda?" So I just answered that. First question comes from I don't know actually, but it says, "What motivated you?" Because I have no motivation and I want to change, but I'm too lazy. My biggest motivator, to be honest, and I'm being dead ass, was the mirror. And it is as um, cliche as it sounds, it's true. I just, I'm gonna break it down. A little story time here. I was sitting in my dorm and I was already into the workout stuff, but I just wasn't like fully committed to it. But I would like go to the gym every day. I was sitting in the mirror and I was like, I know that I'm always insecure. 
not to my full happiness potential. So why don't I just do something about it? It actually, it, like it got to me when I was thinking about it. So what I did, so I went back into my uh, my room and I grabbed all my food because I had nothing bad food. I'm talking like cereal, like cooked, uh, what is it, what is it called? Chips, I don't, I don't know. It was some bad cereal. I had Cheez-Its, granola bars, all types of stuff. So I went and threw all that out. And as soon as I threw away all that food, I just instantly snapped and my motivation just kicked in. So after it kicked in is when it, it started running smoothly for me. I started hitting the gym. And now that I wasn't eating all the bad stuff, I started actually seeing changes in my body. I would say for the lazy part, I can't really help you on that because being dro like driven to get up and actually go do something about yourself, it comes down to you. But I will say my only tip to, to like get rid of laziness is just to get into a habit because all laziness is is a habit. So what you want to do is just get into a habit of being active every day. You know, habits are just one bad thing us humans take uh, because you just built up every day a, a routine of just doing nothing and not bettering yourself. And you got used to it because you're doing it every day. So obviously transitioning into a new routine and a habit is going to take some time. So I, my, my, my one tip is to just say, start doing it every day and it eventually will become a habit and next you know it becomes easy. So that's my tip for not being lazy. Just get up, do it and create a habit for yourself to go after it. Because once that happens, it's smooth selling from that point on. Next question, what all did I cut out? I kind of went over it briefly earlier. I cut out all sweets, all processed foods, anything with added sugars. Here and there, I'll have something with added sugars like a yogurt. It's some, the yogurt I eat is like, I think it's Activia or whatever. It has some added sugars, like 14 grams. I think that the standard amount for males, like daily intake of added sugars, like 35 grams. And for male or for females, it's like 20. I don't know. It's somewhere around those lines. But um, I cut out all processed foods like chips, um, all sweets, sugary drinks. One thing about, I'll say about drinks, if it's a fruit juice, don't think it's healthy just because it says fruit. A lot of fruit juices have a lot of added sugars. Like I'm talking like one, I remember it was like, I was looking at the label on um, this one juice and it had like 42 added grams of sugar, which is over the daily limit for males. Just, but that's uh, that daily limit's not for every male. It just depends on how, what your activity levels are. But 40, 40, three grams or whatever I, I don't know it was it was something around there it's just not good do not drink any fruit juices that have added grams of sugar it's just not good Eat, drink stuff that's natural if you want to make it easier on yourself just drink water that's all you need it's just water just drink water and you'll it'll go a long ways a lot of people who are, have a lot of fat on them it comes from drinking their calories also cut out fast foods here and there i'll have water burger and stuff like i'll go and get me a burger but I don't think, I don't remember the last time I had fast food other than Chipotle. Chipotle is a good option. I can actually give y'all a good bowl to get. It's actually, it's low carb. It's cauliflower rice with steak and chicken, avocado, sour cream, a little bit of cheese, lettuce, corn salsa, and that's pretty good. That's about all the fast food I eat. I don't really eat any fast food anymore because fast food it has barely any benefits. So. Well, depending on what you get, it's like Chipotle. My biggest tip when you're eating food is just always look at the label. The label's there for a reason. A lot of people don't look at labels. And once you start looking at labels, you notice the things that you're putting into your body. And half the things you put into your body just don't, it doesn't work. So next question, somebody wanted to know, how did I burn fat and bulk at the same time? Uh, it basically follows into my meal plan. I just eat a lot of greens. So that keeps me in a low calorie deficit. And at the same time, I bulk up on protein. So I just add any type of protein of my choice into my salads, preferably grilled chicken. And that's how I, I guess I managed to bulk and cut at the same time. I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm bulking right now because I really haven't gotten any bigger. I'm just, I'm just starting to shed on a lot of fat. So it kind of looks like I'm bulking, but my muscles aren't really getting any bigger. At least I don't think. I could be completely wrong. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just adding a lot of protein to my salads. So high fiber, high protein, low calorie. Protein gives your muscles something to build on, even though you're having low calories like salad. And somebody wanted to know how long it took for me to see my first bit of results. For me, I had to find my reference points to know that I was getting results. And for me, that was my abdomen. I was like paying attention to my abs and my first results, I think came within about a within the second week 
I started to notice that my outline of my abs starting to, uh, was starting to show and that meant that I was starting to lose fat. So find your reference point that you want to see a difference in as you, when you're when you're getting into fitness and look for changes in that area and you'll see the results. So, and I also want to say results are going to be your top motivator when you're doing fitness. That's the reason why a lot of people just draw away from wanting to work out and change themselves because they expect results within days. And it's not like that. You have to put in time. Don't be upset with the results you didn't get from the work you didn't do. If you don't put in the work, don't expect the results. And you can't be upset with yourself at the same time because results don't come with no work. So somebody wanted to know, how do I stay disciplined? Discipline really came from wanting to see change in myself. I was always insecure and I realized that it will never change if I don't ever do something about it. So I just started to get up off my ass and do something about my appearance. So, and that goes with anything in life. If you want to be disciplined in something, to put consistency into something. It's like your discipline to make your daily login to Instagram every day. Same thing you need to do with your fitness or your, your meals. Make them consistent. Make it something that you make it a priority in your life. Just like you have all these other priorities in your life that shouldn't really be priorities, but you do them anyway because you feel like it's a necessity. Like being on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. Make it a priority. Just like that. Last but not least, it's one of my probably most frequently asked questions. What do I do in the weight room? I don't really have a routine in the weight room. I just go to the gym and whatever I feel like feels good, I hit. Or most of the time, if I hit upper body one day, I'll hit legs the next, but I'll still hit upper, upper body on that leg day. Because to me, I feel like every day is an upper body day. But if I go to the gym on that arm day and my arms feel like they can't handle it, I will just lay off. I'll either do lightweight, any type of curls, uh, pull machines, lat pull downs, shoulder press, any any type of machine that you see, just go ahead and use it. Just make sure you know that it's targeting and what area it's hitting. Because any machine you see in the gym, it has its benefits. So if you know what it does and you feel good and, and what it targets feels good that day, hit it. But just don't overwork yourself. If you if work is work, it's better than sitting at home. You gotta start somewhere, pace, pace to your abilities. You're not gonna have the abilities of somebody that's been working out for years on your first week of working out in the gym. You gotta pace to your abilities. Let yourself gradually grow and get better. Learn new things as you go. Ask questions at the gym. If you're curious as what what a machine does, go ahead and ask. It's not, it's, nobody's gonna make fun of you for asking. Everybody has a starting point. And your starting point is just as equal as somebody else's starting point. So just go ahead, hit anything that feels good. That's what I do. I don't have a set routine because I don't feel like I've got to a point where I need to write down what I do in the gym when I go work out because it's just, I feel like I'm fine without it. But I know eventually I'll get to that point. But right now I'm just, I don't have a routine. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just the truth, like, comment, subscribe. What you gotta do to get the channel out there. Stay fit. If you have any questions, you can follow my Instagram. I'll have it linked down in the uh, description. You can ask any questions you have. If you like I didn't answer them good enough, um, I'll try my best to answer it better in DMs or whatever. You can follow my fitness account too. It'll be in the description. More videos come soon. Fitness collabs. Hopefully, I'll get some big collabs in the future. Bradley Martin, get at me, man. Come on, man. I need the collabs. But love you guys. Stay fit. Hope you guys have a good day.